down this right hand side, Armstrong again, this time he's up against Sanessi, and he holds off Sanessi, and Armstrong into the penalty area, and Sinclair Armstrong has given QPR the lead! We noted his threat, this time he just held off Marcos Sanessi with ease! Down this left hand side, Dykes has got some room here, and Aarons wants some help, and Dykes is into the penalty area here, QPR on the crest of a wave, and they've gone two up! As Lyndon Dykes' is right foot a shot, deflected off Max Aarons, it took it down into the ground, it looped up over Mark Travers. It's a short corner to Billing, flick back to the penalty spot, given by Tavernier, and Bournemouth straight back in the game. After those half-time substitutions, three minutes into the second period, rifled home by the left foot of Marcus Tavernier, it's QPR 2, Bournemouth 1. Uh, it was an excellent set play that's got us back into this game, I have to say. It's going to be Alex Scott with the corner. In front of the two tiered away in, into the near post and into the back of the net. Off the glancing head of Kiefer Moore. Scott's corner, Moore jumped, took a touch off somebody and ended up at 2-2. And Bournemouth with 13 minutes gone in the second half have wiped out the Rangers' advantage. Billing with a shoulder to shoulder, leaves the defender on the deck, he's got it left side of the penalty with Billing, numbers arriving at the back post, and Justin Kyler puts Bournemouth in front. Phil Billing, brilliant bit of physical strength on the left-hand side, left a QPR defender face down on the turf, rolled it across the six-yard line, Kyler arriving at pace and tapping it home, it's Queen's Park Rangers 2, Bournemouth 3. Well, what a magnificent comeback. Yeah.